Charles Oliveira versus Michael Chandler. Number two is happening at UFC 309. Now, who's going to win this fight? But before we talk about who's going to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Charles Oliveira fought Benio DeRouche. In which Charles Oliveira dropped and put a lot of punishment on Benio DeRouche and the rest of enough and stopped the fight in round one. Oh, he's he's done. Done. It's over. It's over. It's over. After this, Charles Oliveira wanted to fight Armand Sarukin at UFC 300, in which it was a very close fight, both for the striking, grappling, and ground game was great, but obviously Armand Sarukin ended up taking it by decision. By split decision, Armand! Now let's take a look at Michael Chandler's latest performances, in which he fought Tony Ferguson, in which Tony Ferguson dropped Michael Chandler in round one. Oh, big one! But then Michael Chandler brought it back, knocked out Tony Ferguson with a nasty kick to the head in round two. And after this, Michael Chandler went on to fight Dustin Poirier, in which Michael Chandler started off great until Dustin Poirier dropped Michael Chandler in round one. Oh! But then Michael Chandler took control of round two with his wrestling and grappling until Dustin Poirier got Michael Chandler in a rear naked choke and made him tap in round three. He's in tight. Oh, he's in tight. He got it. Dustin now, if Michael Chandler's comeback fight is going to be against Charles Oliveira, then we are set to have a crazy fight based off their first fight because we've seen in the first fight that both men started off good. Michael Chandler even managed to drop Charles Oliveira and he almost finished Charles Oliveira since it was clear that Charles Oliveira was hurt and he was not in a good place. But then things get crazier because in round two, things started to change for the benefit of Charles Oliveira since Oliveira managed to drop Michael Chandler and then he put a lot of punishment on him and then he managed to get the finish. So the way I see this rematch play now is that Michael Chandler is going to start out very fast, not only because this is what we always see from him in all of his fights, but also because he has been wanting to fight after not fighting for a long time. So I can guarantee you that he's going to be really excited when he gets in the octagon, which is going to cause him to fight very fast and be really aggressive. So if that's the case, then Charles Oliveira has to play it safe and he has to be ready if he doesn't want to get clipped and almost finished like how it almost happened in their first fight. So that's how I see Michael Chandler winning this fight by once again being very aggressive and putting a lot of heavy pressure on Charles Oliveira. But in the end, I still believe that Charles Oliveira will be able to come out on top because Let's be honest, Charles Oliveira is too much of a skilled fighter to lose someone like Michael Chandler, who hasn't had a fight since 2022, especially if this fight is going to be a five-round fight that's definitely going to favor Charles Oliveira. So although it's crazy and it's good to hear that Michael Chandler is going to be making his comeback by fighting Charles Oliveira, Michael Chandler still stands no chance.